Hello everyone, this is 21 MCQ. So in the stem of MCQ, newborn at the time of birth had the heart rate 60 per minute, respiration is gasping, SpO2 less than 40% and having the paler. Abdomen is scaphoid in shape, x-ray was done. Here you can see the x-ray. This is a characteristic x-ray I have already explained in the chest x-rays in one of my video. So here you can see this is bowel loops which are herniated from the abdomen to the lung fluid. So what is the diagnosis? So it is a clear cut diagnosis that newborn is suffering from congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Abdomen you can see abdomen is white out. No bowel loops are visible clearly over here and all the bowel loops are visible in the left lung field. And here you can see uh, trachea is shifted toward the opposite side and a right lung field is also not clearly visible. Maybe patient is having right lung hypoplasia. So CDH with the pulmonary hypoplasia is a very common finding. So whenever patient is having CDH with the pulmonary hypoplasia, prognosis is going to be worst. And at the time of birth, left-sided congenital diaphragmatic hernia, it is a bogdelic hernia. So right answer is CDH. So see the other option in tetralogy of failure, newborn will have the uh, presentation after six months of life except when the pulmonary atresia is there, they can present in the newborn period. Sinuses and respiratory distress can be there. Tracheoesophageal fistula, I have already explained in the MCQ 20 how the newborn will present frothing from the mouth, dribbling after the feeds, and respiratory distress will be there. And in tracheoesophageal fistula, uh, nasogastric feeding tube when you will insert there will be curl of the nasogastric feeding tube in the proximal part of the esophagus will be visible it is not here and in RDS characteristically newborn will have the preterm birth and x-ray will be reticulogranular or ear bronchogram or ground glass opacity or white out lung field according to the severity so it is not here and this characteristic line, abdomen is scaphoid in shape, means all the intestinal loops are herniated to the lung field, so abdomen becomes scaphoid. Whenever at the time of birth you find that newborn is having a scaphoid abdomen, think about the congenital diaphragmatic hernia. So newborn with the gasping respiration at the birth with the scaphoid abdomen, diagnosis will be CDH and bogdelic hernia present on the left side and present at the time of birth. So here you can see the intestinal loops are herniating to the lung fits. Now in the similar stem, what should not be done in this case? We know there is a uh, contraindication, absolute contraindication of big and mass ventilation in congenital diaphragmatic hernia. So, whenever you find at the time of birth, newborn is having a scaphoid abdomen with the bradycardia, gasping respiration, SpO2, very less or not recordable, don't start the begin mass ventilation for the respiration. Directly intubate the baby and give the tube and bag ventilation, then keep on ventilator and urgent surgery should be done. So, all these options are right because the heart rate 60 chest compression is indicated. ET tube we will intubate because having gasping respiration and surgical reference will also be done for the surgery for the correction of congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Big and mass ventilation is absolutely contraindicated so it is the right option for this. Thank you so much.